Making bends in stainless steel CNG fuel lines can be done with a hand bender since the lines are relatively small in diameter. These are the parts of a typical hand bender. The roller dies used on this bender are preferable to a fixed die for bending stainless tubing since they will not score or deform the tube. Choose a bender that matches the outside diameter of the tube that you are working with. This bender is for 3 8 inch OD tubing. This tube is too small for the bender dies. This may cause flattening or kinking at the bend. Bends that are close to the end of a tube where fittings are installed must have a straight run before the bend to make sure that the tubing touches the bottom of the fitting. This mark is the minimum length needed for 3 8 inch tube. The end of the tube must be to the left of this mark in order for the fitting to seal properly. When making bends, it may be helpful to sketch the layout. This drawing shows a layout with a 90 degree bend 4 inches from the end of the tube and a 45 degree bend 4 inches from the center or vertex of the first bend. The vertex is where the tube center lines that form the angle intersect. To form the layout, mark the end of the tube where the measurements will start. Place a mark 4 inches from the end of the tube, marking the tube all around. Placing the bender in a vise is often the easiest way to make an accurate bend. Place the tube in the bender with the reference mark to the left of the latch. Latch the tube lightly, just enough to hold it in place. Lower the short handle until the roller dies touch the tube. Be sure that the stop on the handle contacts the link, otherwise the bend will not be accurate. Align the zero on the top scale with the zero on the degree scale. Line up the mark with the line on the top scale that matches the bend angle. For this 90 degree bend, line up the mark on the tube with the L mark on the top scale. Latch the tube firmly. Pull the short handle until the zero on the top scale lines up with the 90 on the degree scale. Lift the short handle away from the tube. The tube may spring back. To correct this, pull the short handle down again and bend until the 90 degree mark is reached. Mark the second bend 4 inches from the center line of the first leg. Make a directional mark to indicate the outside or heel of the bend. This will help you make the bend in the right direction. Line up the bend mark with the 45 degree mark on the top scale. Rotate the tube until the directional mark lines up with the short handle. Make the second bend to 45 degrees and correct for spring back if necessary. This layout required only 45 degree and 90 degree bends. Use these marks on the top scale for other bend angles.